Hello everyone and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a cloud UCM on your GDMS account. So first of all, you must have a GDMS account. After a GDMS account, you need to log in your GDMS account and on the GDMS platform, you must be on GDMS Unified Communication Platform so where you can manage communication devices like IP PBX and IP phones and cloud PBX. So to add cloud UCM we have an option of cloud UCM on the left menu option. So just click on cloud UCM and here we have options free trial, add device and import device. So if you want to initiate a free trial of your cloud UCM, just click on the free trial. And if you have already purchased a cloud UCM plan, then you can add the device and mention your device MAC address. Or you can import the device. Just import the CSV format of Excel. So today we are using free trial version and for free trial I'm just clicking on free trial option. Now here we have three options device name so in the device name option we have to give a name for the PBX so we can set any name so I'm setting VoIP PBX and select the site and then select number of employees. So we have option of 1 to 5 users, 6 to 25, 26 to 50 and so on. So you can select accordingly in the, your trial version. I'm going to select uh, 26 to 50, the third option. And now click on apply. So now it will give you a message successfully applied for free trial. The device has been added to the cloud using list. And here it is showing the device MAC address, the initial password and the activation link. So the link is valid for 30 days. Now click on activate now. Select your zone and device administrator email address. Now click on the activate so it will take an activation of your cloud UCM and we have to wait for some time so the cloud UCM is now activated and we have the option to jump admin portal directly from here so you can go to its admin portal to manage the device on admin portal and as well we can download the device information and we can see here the trial will be expired on 25th of July 2025 so it is valid for one month So now our UCM is activated and we have a startup plan. We have admin portal URL and we 
server address so from this address you can register wave application on desktop or mobile application and here we have uh, four concurrent calls and extensions we have uh, 10 and the status is showing running so log in the UCM just click on the admin portal option I'm going to log in the PBX. Now we have to follow the setup wizard. So you can modify the username. So I'm not changing the path uh, username. I'm just changing the password as it is mandatory fill. If you see here the red mark. Now click on the next option and email delivery settings. Let it default. Do not change here or if it is mandatory fill then we have to mention the details over here either you can skip so we will be skipping this option and now set your time zone And set your date format and time format now click on the next so by default extensions are starting with 1000 so we can skip this option we can add accordingly as per our requirement so I skip this option and we'll add in the main login. So now we will log in with the new admin password. So here it is the dashboard of cloud UCMPBX and we have 1 GB space out of which 101 MB is utilized and on the right side we can see plan name is startup expiration date 25th of July and maximum concurrent calls are 4 extensions available to register the phones or wave are 10 and storage space is 1 GB and here on the PV station we can see system time, active calls, temporary meetings and on the system information we can see that MAC address, serial number, system time and the firmware version of the cloud PVX and here we can see the active calls so i'm now going to create the extension then we will register on an ip phone so before that we need to modify some settings on pb setting general setting option so here i will disable extension range 
so that we can change the extension or create the extension as per our wish. If you do not disable this option, so you have to choose the extension range between 1000 to 6299 only and other range you cannot define for extensions. So just disable this option and you can create the extension as per your wish. Now coming back to the extension option, now click on the add And here we have option single or multiple. So I'm selecting batch extension and create number. So it will create five number of extensions and the incremention is one step. Means uh, the difference between extensions is one. So suppose if I'm creating extension from 101, then it will add one then the extension number next extension is 102 then 103 then 104 okay so i'm starting with 101 and i'm setting the password okay and similarly setting the wave password rest of the setting will be on this page basic setting will be same now on the media option we have to choose only selected codecs as g.7 to do sometimes create the issue so we are just using pcmu pcma 7 to 9 and h.264 rest of the selected codec will be transferred on the left box then uh, we have to disable video FEC and audio FEC. It also create the issue and calls. So disable this. Now on the voicemail, so voicemail is not required. So I'm just disabling this and save. So it will create extension from 101 to 105. So now we have created the extensions and now click on the apply changes option. So we have created the extensions. Now it's time to register an IP phone. So I'm registering 101 on Glass Team GXC 3380 IP phone. This phone has already some extensions, so I'm going to register account 3 with the cloud UCM. So on the account name, I'm giving extension number or you can set name as well. And on the SIP server, we have to On the cloud UCM services, my plan. So here it is the URL to register the phone, and it will be registered through the TLS option. So we have entered the SIP server. IP address of cloud UCM and SIP user ID is 101, authentication ID is 101 and the password we have set. Now save and navigate to the SIP setting option. Since the registration is based on TLS protocol, so we have to select the same on the IP phone side as well. So in the SIP setting option, we have to select the transport as TLS protocol. Now click on 
save and then apply changes. Now let's check the account status. So you can see account 3 with extension number 101 on the cloud PBX it is registered and similarly we can see the same on the PBX side so extension 101 is idle and register on the cloud USM. similarly if I want to register wave application so then we have to open wave application and put this URL for wave application so let me run wave application so on the server field we have to put the cloud URL and on the account, I'm going to put 102 extension number and the user password is the wave password. Then click on the login. So our extension is also registered on the cloud PBX and we can see the status on the UCM side so these are the two extensions registered and we can also see on the dashboard So, two extensions are registered out of five extensions. And similarly here we can see two extensions are registered out of five extensions and total capacity for trial version is 10. And from here we can make the call to the extension audio and video call so this way we can uh, activate the cloud UCM and you can use for one month as a free trial and if you wish to activate it permanently so purchase the plan and then the PBX will be valid for uh, like one year if you purchase the one year plan so the PBX will be work for one year and you can you need to contact your vendor for uh, plan activation okay so uh, this one is done for today's video and I hope you like this video. So please like this video, subscribe the channel and comment and also share to your friends. Thank you.